Yo guys, what is going on? This is Carnalbert5. Welcome to another iteration of the Pack and Play series. We are playing the Aliens, and he is pitching live series Felix Hernandez. You guys want to take a look at his lineup there. We have Madison Bumgarner going again in back-to-back -back games. Same usual lineup, no changes <clears throat> at all to our team. And let's go ahead and get this game underway. Now we are home. We are playing at Sportsman's Park. We're 46 and 3 at this point. I'm not sure if that's our real record. I think we only have one real loss so far in this uh, series. I think the other two were from Battle Royale. And my opponent had a lot of speedsters in the game. He had the rookie Jose Reyes to lead off the game, and I accidentally hit him. So that's not good. I put him on. And then, of course, he has Ichiro coming up, and then the cat and mouse game comes into effect, and it just feels like things fall apart when these speedsters get on. I try a simple pickoff play, which I think Bumgarner has a good pickoff move in real life, but he throws it away. Now he's on second, got Ichiro up. Not looking too good, but Ichiro has a shallow pop fly. Is he going to test me here? Charlie Blackman doesn't have a good arm, but I do get behind it, and I throw him out by a mile. Terrible play by my opponent. Really stupid. I mean, if my, especially if I got behind that, you do not test that. Anybody, like any major league outfielder, you do not test them there. Now, if I was flat-footed and caught that like <clears throat> Raja Davis in Game 7 of the World Series, Maybe you test it, but no, not there when you get behind it. So you got to make sure you pay attention to your outfielders. He flies out to center field to end the inning. We have Mookie Betts leading off with a walk there, 3 1 count. Now, I will say, I'm not a huge fan of facing this live series, Felix Hernandez, as he gets me looking at a sinker way inside there, but good pitch by him. Not a fan of facing any pitcher, honestly, with a good sinker. And Felix Hernandez live series, our flashback, has a great sinker. And that's probably the first still attempt I've had in this whole series. Like, I never hardly still. And I get thrown out. I just, I cannot steal. I don't ever try it. It just seems like it's a fluke. And then that kind of turns our inning into uh, nothing there as Miguel Cabrera flies out to right field. So we have Miguel, or, uh, ugh, Bundes and Bumgarner pitching for us. We get a nice little ground out to Jake Lamb. We got two down, Evan Longoria coming up. We get a 1 0 count. Throw a slider in on the hands. I don't know if you guys noticed or not. I like to do that on Madison Bumgarner. Especially at Sportsman's Park, we get a fly out to left field inning. So looking pretty good for Bumgarner. Last game, he had a pretty good game. And uh, he's got a good start to this game as well. Two innings, no earned runs. Next batter, next inning, Jake Lamb rips a double into the gap. Like I said, Jake Lamb, I think he's a top five third baseman in the game. He's basically like a poor man's Chipper Jones. Of course, he's not a switch hitter. But he does rip one into the gap there with a double. Now Correa is up. Or not, excuse me, that is Gary Sanchez, and I hit one deep to left field. I thought I was going to get over his head, but he does catch it, so we do leave a runner stranded. Moving on to the third inning, 2-2 count. And I jam my opponent again with an inside slider. That's a tough pitch to lay off, especially when you start mixing up the fastball middle in, some high fastballs, and then some low curveballs in there. It can be an effective combination. Now he has his created player coming up. Actually, he gets out, and then Felix Hernandez comes up. Challenge him. Uh, fastball up and in, 93 mile an hour fastball, blow it by him to end the inning. So far, so good. Pitcher's duel. We got Madison Bumgarner versus Felix Hernandez. And that's why the sinker gives me fits. It really messes up my PCI placement. And I have to start, I have to tell myself to look sinker instead of just reacting. I cannot, it's so hard to react to that sinker because it has such light movement. Bumgarner hits one deep to right field here, but at the warning track, that won't go out. Not even at Sportsman's Park. Then we have Mookie Betts. We worked ourselves to a full count here. I am working Felix, if you see there. He's at 45 pitches, and he left the pitch over the middle there, and Mookie hits a nice little opposite field, cheap home run in Sportsman's Park as we go up one to nothing. Now back to the fourth. We got a 1-2 count. Jose Reyes up again. Swing and miss. High fastball. So we got one down each row. Again, <laughs> he's back to the top of his order at the third in the fourth inning because he ran himself into a dumb double play. So that's why Jose Reyes was leading off the fourth there. Ichiro gets a little seeing eye single up the middle because I got my second ba baseman playing in to try to stop that bunt cheese. The next batter, we throw a pitch middle in, jammed him. Easy play for Miguel Cabrera. Sometimes he will drop those, but he caught that one. And Edgar Martinez comes up, two outs, two one count. We did have a pass ball as the runner moves to second. And I challenge Edgar Martinez. Correa makes a nice backhand play. He's got plenty of time to throw him out. Made it look close, but. We do get out of the inning as we go on to the bottom of the fourth. And we have Correa up here of two outs. Didn't really get anything going this inning as Correa is going to foul out to the right fielder. So not a good inning there. I was work I am working the count though on Felix, I will say that. I'm working the count. I'm trying to 
again, I'm trying to let my opponent establish their tendencies so I can start, you know, changing my game plan a little bit. We throw a fastball middle in. Uh, he hits it pretty deep the right field, though, even though it was middle in. And you will start to notice later in the game, my opponent does have a slow bat, but uh, I'll just let you guys see later in the game. And we strike out the batter there to end the inning. We're going on to the fifth inning. My opponent only has one hit, and it was that... Uh, it was that Ichiro that probably would have been out if I was the second baseman was playing normal depth. Charlie Blackman next inning. Uh, pitch pretty much down the middle. I was a little bit late on, but I do rip it in the gap. And I'm going to go ahead and test him and try to get a triple here. And he throws a can in the third. I thought he was going to hit his cutoff. I thought I'd have an easy triple there. Kind of a dumb play. Like they always say, you don't want to make your first and last out at third. But whatever, I really thought I had that bag. So it is what it is. Gary Sanchez rips a single. I'm going to try to make something out of this inning, though. Usually, once you get the first out, a third, it's usually hard to make anything out of the inning. But we have Robinson Cano coming up 2-1 count. And, yeah, that's just a line drive that sneaks over. Any other ballpark, that probably would have been a double. That was 342, I think. And then Bumgarner comes up. He tries to man up a little bit. He hits it a little bit deeper than last time, but he still flies out the right field. I really want to hit a home run of Bumgarner, man. That would feel so good. I don't hit many home runs of pitchers. Um, so going on next inning here, we jam him again. Like I said, I was jamming my opponent a lot. He barely turned on any pitches. Moving on, it's got Jose Reyes up. One and two count. Look at that, pitching up and in again. But here's where the shenanigans starts to kick in. Up and in, super late. All right, I can accept contact hitters getting hits like that every now and then. It's whatever. Two outs. we got each row coming up. Kind of rolls over a little bit. Second baseman makes an easy play. We do get out of the inning, though. So no harm, no foul that inning. Uh, still three to nothing. My opponent only has two hits. Both of them are kind of crap hits, in my opinion. So Bumgarner's doing a really good job. Next inning, we got a man on first. I think I had a I hit a hit there with Cargo, and then Cabrera rips a single in the right field. Just a great overall hitter, I'll tell you what. He just hits everything. He finds holes. I don't I don't know what it is about him. So we have two on, no out. Jake Lamb up. Let's try to do some damage here. He hangs a curveball over the outer half. If I would have waited back a little bit, and got on top of it just a bit more. I probably could have that in the left center gap, but I was under it just a little bit and a little bit too early. So I do fly out to center field there. And then we have 2 1 count, two, uh, 2 on, 2 out. And that sinker, again, it messes me up. Like, it takes me a few innings to get used to that sinker, and sometimes I'll have some weak hits like that. That's why I'm saying the flashback Felix Hernandez and that the live series Jake Arrieta are some of the best pitchers in the game because of those stupid sinkers. Very difficult to hit. But Bumgarner is cruising for us. We're in the seventh inning of 3 to nothing, feeling pretty confident. Still have a relatively low pitch count. Opponent swings super early and spazzy there. For some reason, they didn't call it a strike, even though it could have been called a strike anyways. We get a 3-2 count. We miss our spot a little bit, and he rips a double into the gap. I think that's the flashback Melky Cabrera. My opponent had some pretty interesting flashbacks. A lot of the budget flashback players, which is cool. And again, last year we wouldn't be seeing these players because everybody had pretty much the same team. So it is pretty cool to see these different lineups on all my different teams. And then Edgar Martinez comes up. 2-0 count. Chases a change up down and away. A terrible hit, but it's going to go through. So my opponent is getting some uh, fortunate hits to go through, but it is what it is, and that's the downfall of Madison Bumgarner. I don't get too many strikeouts with him. And then again, another pitch up and in, and look at that. Another jammed hit, and that was from Nelson Cruz, and that's going to get all the way to the wall, and Nelson Cruz uh, is going to get a double out of it. Actually, I don't know if that's Nelson Cruz. I shouldn't be saying that. I, it could be... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure who that is. He only got 44 speed, though. Maybe you guys can correct me in the comments. Anyways, Longoria coming up, 0-1 count. We throw a fastball that's supposed to be over his head, and he just tomahawks it to opposite field for a two-run homer. And I'm down 4-3 to three now because of a couple just weak hits that go through and then a ridiculous home run. But it is what it is. I mean, I play at Sportsman's Park. I have to live with it. But in my opinion, you look at this box score for Bumgarner, and you're like, oh, four in runs and six and two-thirds. Not a great game. But I think he did a good job with the strikeouts, didn't allow too many hits. My opponent really only had a couple good hits, and I will give him credit on the home run. That was a good hit. I should have pitched a little bit higher and inside. I bring in Strickland, strikeout Chew. So we're down 4-3 to three at this point, and he brings in Diekman, another stupid sinker baller. I hate facing Diekman, one of the toughest pitchers to hit. 0-2 count on Gary Sanchez. He doesn't hit lefties really well at all. He hits righties better. But he hangs a fastball over the middle there. I think that was a sinker. It might have been a two-seamer. I don't know. Diekman don't even have a straight fastball, but he rips it up the middle. So good hit by Gary Sanchez. Now we start to play a little bit of a chess match here. We go to our bullpens and pinch hitters and just a lot of different moves that go on here. Eventually we end up staying mutual facing Luke Hoshaver. 
O2 count, and I don't know what the hell I was swinging at there. It seems like every check swing has gone against me the past few games. Usually I can hold my swing there, especially with good play discipline. And then we pinched it. I believe that is Carlos Beltran. Again, the sinker. Ho Shaver has a sinker as well. This guy likes the sinker ballers. It's pretty smart by him because I can't hit him. So we got two outs. We got a runner on first. We got Mookie Betts up. 1-1 one, one count. Ho Shaver throws. I don't know what that was. It was either a cutter or a knuckle curve. I don't know what it was, but Mookie stays with it. Hits it in the right field for a hit. So now we have two on, two out. Cargo coming up. Can we get a big hit here? Ooh, a sinker down and away. I got kind of a lucky hit here. I get just enough of it to go in the outfield, and we're going to go ahead and test him. Doesn't have a great arm out there. That's the flashback Milky Cabrera, and we do score and tie it up 4-4. Four to four. Now I just want you guys to watch this at-bat here. This is a pretty good at-bat. Uh, we have Miguel Cabrera down in the hole 0-2. We have runners on first and second, 0-2 count, facing Luke Hoshaver still. Bottom of the seventh, 1-2 count now. See if I can get something to drive. He throws me a cutter in. Hoshaver's face is tough just because of that cutter-sinker combo, and then he's got that knuckle curve. Here, I just get enough of it. I probably should have struck out there, but I fouled it off. I was really early, so 2-2 two, two count still. Another wild pitch at, for this time, though, knuckle curve. I lay off it, and runners do advance. So we have two runners in scoring position for Melky Cabrera. Or not Melky Cabrera, Miguel Cabrera. Real Cabrera here. 3-2 three, count, two outs. What are we going to get? We get a fastball away, and Miguel Cabrera just rips it into the gap. It's just a great hitter. I'm telling you, he always finds a hole. It's only going to be a single nonetheless for Miguel Cabrera since he's pretty slow. But I will take it. And we go up 6-4 to four with a big hit there by Miguel Cabrera. And Jake Lamb comes up. Gets jammed a little bit. Opponent makes kind of a weird angle, but he does make a diving play there. So nice play by him. He does get out of the inning 6-4. to four. That's got to be a heartbreaker for my opponent because he's pretty much had to get everything to go for him just to get those four runs in that one inning. Uh, I'd love staying usual in that second, creative player. Sometimes I'll do that because I don't put much value in defense at second. But I'm kind of a hypocrite because I do like playing my creative player there sometimes too. Um, but... Of course, Stan Musial is playing out of position, so his defense attributes are pretty much shot. Go to the eighth inning. He's got Chris Sell in. Again, I usually rip Chris Sell. I, I hit Chris Sell really, really well. The the, uh, the reliever, anyways. I think the starter is actually better because the slider is better. But Correa hits a single. And then Charlie Blackman's not having a good game. He's getting jammed a lot. We get jammed, pop out to the third baseman. But we still have one on. We're only up 6-4. We want to get some insurance runs. We have our boy Gary Sanchez up, who's just killing it lately. Even against lefties, he doesn't hit well, but we do rip a uh, single there up the middle. So he's got two hits for his two tough tough lefties, Deakman and Chris Sell. And then Stan Musial comes up again. I left him in the game. And he gets somewhat jammed, and my opponent misplays it. I don't know. I'm... I'll take that though. All the uh, jam hits my opponent's gotten. Stan Musial kind of fights it off in the gap there, and we do score a run, and we go up seven to four. So it's a huge insurance insurance run. Big difference between being up two compared to being up three. And then uh, Melky, not Melky. I keep saying Melky. Mookie Betts comes up, flies out to deep center, but Sportsman's Park's gonna keep that one in play. Seven to four now. We got 14 hits to a six six hits. Feeling pretty confident. I go to Trevor Rosenthal, which he's still kind of good on the game. He kind of had a weird season but um he is i don't know i like him because he does throw hard and we quickly get two down in the ninth and we get him to pop up here to second baseman this is going to be stan usual is he going to be able to catch it yeah he will and that's going to end it guys that was a pretty good game one seven to four again my opponent had everything go his way in the one inning but we rebounded got a couple uh, runs even one insurance run there and we're going to get our rating up to i don't know what it said i think 1850 something and post game reward didn't get anything great uh, anyways, guys, hope you guys are enjoying the Pack and Play series. Thanks for watching. This is Car Number 5 signing out. Peace.